In my last video on the uh, US dollar and it being a uh, debt note or a slavery note may have been a bit depressing for others. I'll try to have a more educational bit for this one. People say, how is silver consumed? Here's an example. Common everyday product under our deodorant. It's called Silver Protect. Why is it called that? It's because it's got silver in it. You won't see, see the silver. There'll be small little atoms in there. And it's for antibacterial protection. Silver ions. Antiperspirant for men. And it works. It's very good. It's one of the better ones I've ever uh, found. And the reason it works is because silver has a unique quality in that it slows down the respiration of bacteria. It doesn't kill the bacteria, but stops it reproducing, which is nearly the same effect. And as you can imagine, the silver locked up in this amount is going to be very small, so it wouldn't matter if silver went up 100 or 1,000 or even 10,000%. It's not actually going to affect the cost too much of this product. You'd probably still put silver in it, even if silver was a thousand dollars an ounce, because they've got a very small, tiny quantity in there. But that tiny quantity, if you considered millions of people using this every day under their arms, it gets consumed, and that silver's gone forever. The silver's not going to get recycled once it's gone under someone's armpit, that's it, it's gone forever, it's consumed, it disappears, can't be used again, it's no good for investment, it's gone. Unlike gold, which gets reused, held on to, put in wedding rings and held on forever, put in other things and held on, put in bullion stalls, put in Fort Knox and held on forever in a day. Silver is consumed, it's consumed in solar panels, wiring, circuitry, Specialised industrial processes, catalysts, the list just goes on and on and on. But here's just an everyday example. Something as plain and unattractive as underarm deodorant. And there's silver in it. And every day, silver's getting consumed. And every day, there's less of it around. So, what does that mean? It means eventually the price of silver has to go up. And as I said before... Although there are some new mines opening, we're not talking about the quantities that they found in the 1500s. We're talking about much smaller mines. And that many nations nowadays, including the United States of America, have a silver deficit. They need to import more silver than they produce. That's the lesson for today. Silver is consumed.